Welcome to Coach Crick Mojo and in today's video we are going to be listing our 10 favorite hand speed drills. The question you may be asking yourself is why hand speed? Hand speed is a positive for a cricketer in a number of ways, especially when it comes to batting. The quicker your hand speed is, the cleaner you're going to strike the ball, the harder you're going to hit it and the more chance you get yourself to score in boundaries. But at the same time, your hand speed can sometimes save you when you get into a position that is not favorable for yourself and your hands come to save the day and keep you batting for a longer period of time. Number 10. This draw is chosen here because it is a great starting point from which to get used to swinging through the line and getting your hand speed up. It is using two cricket bats at the same time. The extra weight is going to force our arms to swing back and the downward motion is going to force our hands to be nice and quick through the line of the ball. Also, of course, there's now more surface area from the bats because there's two on top of each other there's going to be a lot more wind resistance, which is also going to make it a little bit more difficult to get your hands through that line at the speed that you'd want. You'll notice as soon as you have done this a few times, when you revert back to going only with your single bat, the swing will be quicker and your hands will move through the line of contact a lot easier. You can do this on the front or the back foot as demonstrated in the clip. Number nine. This draw has been placed here as it is a good progression from the previous draw. We are now going to use bands which is going to add in the resistance of the hands moving forward which is going to force us to be stronger through that swinging point and it's also going to help us swing our hands back to really elongate our swing and giving us that resistance through the swing itself showing us that we have enough power even when we are holding a cricket bat to swing through the line of the ball. When swinging down and through really make sure that you are imparting enough force on the band so you can feel that the band is pulling back. Because this is the resistance that you're going to feel when you make contact with the ball with the bat. Do be wary, sometimes you do get mechanical or band failures, and sometimes bad things happen to good people. Not saying Zenon's a good person, though. Number eight. For this draw, we're going to take up our bat, we're going to get set in our front foot driving position already. Your friend is going to pop balls, you're going to drive through it. As soon as you've completed your swing, you're going to pull your hands back. As the bat passes the pad, your friend is going to pop the next ball. So it's really forcing you to stay in the line, making sure the back goes through the straight line and making sure that your hands move quick enough from that completed area all the way into a full swing and hit it again. This draw is good because you're under pressure because there is rapid fire, five balls in a row, but it also forces us to generate a swing by putting our hands all the way back to reset ourselves and then hitting through that line. Another thing that is really good about this draw is that you're forced to hit in one line. So the thrower has to pop it in the same area every single time. Number seven. For this next draw, it is again going to focus on just two balls at a time, but with no movement and then followed by a movement. So it is an extension of the previous draw. You're going to start in a normal base, in your normal stance. Your friend's going to pop a ball, you're going to hit through it. But as you are pulling your hands back for your next swing, your friend's going to pop the ball slightly more in front and you're going to be forced to step and swing at the same time. So now we're linking the momentum of movement with the second one along with a hand speed and a nice big swing which is going to enable us to hit the ball that much harder and also enable us to go towards the line of the ball and get as much power as possible. Number six. For this draw, it is really, really simple. Your friend is going to stand slightly in front of you and pop the ball up. You're going to step towards it and take as big a swing as you can, looking to really elongate that swing. You're going to try and hit through the ball as hard as possible with the intent of trying to make the ball into an oval and try and hit it over the top with a full extension through, finishing with a golf swing sort of motion over your opposite shoulder. This is important as you're now getting used to the hand speed moving through the contact point all the way to the top. You want to use this in extreme circumstances. Really focus on the acceleration of the swing. Send in for swing. Oh, so unfortunate. You stupid camera. <laughs> Before we head into the top five hand speed drills, please remember to like the video and subscribe if you have not done so already. Number five. For this drill, we're going to focus on the back foot, an introduction if you will, to back foot hand speed. What we're going to do is we're going to be using two balls at a time. The friend is going to throw an underarm and the player is going to use that first ball to get into a set position and play a check pull. And then as the hands are going back, the next ball is going to come out and you're going to swing as hard as you can through the ball. This is to help you get into a good position to play the pull shot while also generating hand speed and also allowing us to complete the pull shot. It is a very well-rounded draw and it is a good starting point for back foot hand speed. 
number four. This next draw is going to link up back foot and front foot. How it's going to work is the thrower is going to throw an underarm about hip height. The bat is going to go and play a back foot drive. Directly from there, the thrower is going to throw a half volley in front of the batter. The batter is going to step forward and play a cover drive. What's really nice about this is we're focusing on back foot and front foot at the same time, but also with the back foot movement, it is helping you transfer your weight into the front foot at the same time. So it's important that you try and get both of these shots as close to your perfect as you can, while at the same time trying to generate a nice swing on the back foot and then using that transfer and momentum to generate the swing through your front foot drive. Number three. For the straw, the batter is going to start already in the back foot position, ready to throw the pull shot. The throw is going to have five balls. Each of the first four balls are going to be played with a check swing, ensuring that the hands are moving quickly forward and just as quickly backward. And then on the fifth and last ball, you're going to try and explode through the point of contact and complete the swing. This is important as your hands need to be able to move quickly back, because when you're playing a full shot, it is invariably against bowler that can ball the short ball quick enough to put a batter under pressure. And it's also important that your hands are quick through the line of the ball. So if there is any misjudgment, that you can adjust to that. At the same time, we're trying to generate power through the swing, because if a bowler ball short, realistically, we need to take them to the cleaners and score as many runs as possible. Number two. This draw we are going to be looking at now is a slightly more advanced draw, and it does enable a lot of good timing from both players and also making sure that your movements are good. How it starts is we are going to be using four balls. Your friend's going to pop the first one slightly in front of you. You're going to take a normal stride and hit the ball. Your friend is going to start advancing down the pitch, dropping the ball every couple of steps. You are then going to keep moving down the pitch, walking into the line, while generating a nice big back swing and hitting the ball. This is important because it trains us to go towards the ball and make sure that our hands swing nice and big. And at the same time, we're under pressure from a movement and a swinging perspective and trying to find the timing at the same time. This could be difficult, so start off slow and then start ramping it up as you get more comfortable. Number one. This draw, in our honest opinion, is probably the most difficult one to get consistently right. We're going to start by going on two back foot check pulls and then directly after that onto the drive. What's important here is the throws need to be directed well at the chest, otherwise it becomes too difficult for the hands to move through the line, but nice and quick movements into the ball and back into the swing. What's nice about this, as was with the back foot front foot draw, is it's helping you have a weight transition from back to forward, really getting everything that you need to go into the ball and helping us hit the ball that little bit harder. What does really add to the difficulty factor in this draw is that you're going from cross bat shots into a straight bat shot. So the hand movement has to be perfect. If you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed filming it, please leave a like below and remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can get our content as soon as it releases. And also, if you want to learn to middle more balls, check this video over here.